So I'm Ninja Online guys, welcome back to Deadbolt. This is chapter 16, when we last left off, we had did, uh, what mission was it called? A lot to give. There was an ambush there we had to deal with, it wasn't too bad. Now we're at Sir Stella, case number 7. Vampire leader must know about what happened. Let's jump into this one. Excited for it. <clears throat> You've done a good job, friend. Feel pride in what you help craft. These guys are new. I haven't seen them before. Slightly scary, too. Old world rifle, eh? Jesus, that was scary as all hell. Give me the knife for now. So where does this go? Does this go all the way to the top? No. Give me the knife. Still one more left, though. <laughs> Knew I shouldn't have tried gunning him, but... <laughs> no, I wasn't going to make that there. Well... Something's not broke. Why try to fix it? Hmm. So I probably should have started shooting right away. point of kill a sergeant mid spin well I didn't mean to but it definitely happened God, I'm getting worried there. Okay. Didn't see any light switch. No. I'm worried about this next floor, to be completely honest with you. That was super unfortunate because he should have died. Yeah. That was good. I should probably just move from that guy. Nice. 
nice. Nice. Okay. We're in a better position. Shit. The, the shitty thing is, I knew that those guys were there, too. No one this time, which is good. I should still play this the same way I did last time. I'll try to draw their attention to come out of there. Like lock picking. Nice. I, I was so done. Wait for this guy to come down. I remember this time that there's two zombie or er, zombie skeletons up there. There's a light switch for down there. Maybe I should hit that. So I should take the elevator here and then head down on foot after that. Lockpicking sequence again. Shit. Another one gun out. That could have been so bad. See, the thing I'm finding uh, that I'm having problems with now is uh, late game, I'm finding that I'm not having enough ammo for things. hit the light switch, but that's not going to be an option. I don't think. Okay, let's see if we have anything else here that might be better to use. It's because these guys take a lot of shots. Oh. I 
I have to clear the floor, though. There's no way I don't. This isn't going to work. Totally don't have the right gun there. the shotgun. Damn. I didn't expect him to be there. I can deal with here. Cool. Because this part is the part that I need the guns for. I, I can't do this part without guns. And having this old world rifle and combat shotgun here is crucial. Okay. Back to the lock picking. forgot about him as I do every friggin' time. This one's a tough one. Okay. Damn. I gotta get quicker at being fluent with the controls. That took way too long. Uh, the, this, this run is pretty much garbage now. I wasted too many ammo there. Too many ammo, Jesus Christ. Can't even speak anymore. I wasted too much ammo. Surprised I pulled that guy too, I never usually do. I can do pretty much this whole part. Well, the problem is now I'm having a hard time trying to break into the, uh, the area down below with my current loadout. 
Because I, I can clear this guy, I can clear this guy, but then it's the, the remaining enemies downstairs. And as much as I'd love to just run for it, I mean... Fuck! I knew I shouldn't have got so close. I have it down to a science now. It's just getting the right formula. So far, so good. I should have hit the timer for three seconds. That would have been fine. One. Nice. Give me that. Give me that. Don't blow it up here. As I just did last time. I think I can do it this run. This run, I think, could be the one. I just gotta remember to leave my uh, rifle out. And... I might be able to kill this undead with uh, the sledgehammer. I should have switched for the shotgun, though. Not give up my rifle. That was kind of stupid of me. Well, if I die, I know for the next uh, attempt. As if he doesn't come all the way out here. Keep the sledgehammer. It's become my old faithful at this point. I think I'd, the plan on this attempt is just to lure them out. Oh, I need this light off. Thank you. Shit. It's a good thing he had to cock his gun there because I would have been dead otherwise. There's no use turning off that bottom light. I mean... It, stops him for two seconds anyways. Apparently I didn't hit the switch. I swear to god I did. Alright. Excuse me. I should have left that door open though, because it's gonna kind of screw me over in the long of things. Four shots isn't bad. Nice. Gone. I'm coming to grips with the fact that I won't be able to kill everyone. Sometimes I'll have to do stuff like that. But you know what? I have a cassette, so let's listen to the cassette, quote unquote, listen. Skeleton 1. Cold. It's so bitterly cold. In the darkness of my patrol, lights dancing across the waves, the cold bit at my exposed bones. I pray every step off of the pavement. The humidity near the docks frees my feet to the ground. Sorry, I pry. I can hear Ibzan in the other room, still telling the shamans about the land of warmth and the ash and the portal and blah 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 blah. 
I'm starting to think it's bullshit. But we were all so cold. The idea of a warmer place is so inviting. More flesh, he'd say. We need more for the portal. It is so close, my brothers. We will soon be embraced by his warmth. For he loves every one of us. It's so cruel, isn't it? I wanted to die. And I still do. But I can't. I have no brain to destroy or nerves to sever. The generals reassemble me as soon as I rip myself apart. Why is it so goddamn cold? That's a good question, skeleton. Let's go down to the docks, pay our friend, uh... Sharon? I want to say his name is Sharon. Hey, I'm gonna visit anyways. I want to buy that moose gun. That way I have a, a secondary. That's actually somewhat okay. Flames roar to life. No skeletons are found. No flesh and no love. Stop their harvest or Ibzan is crowned. By the time I arrive, the harvest will be near complete. I only have a minute to destroy all the harvest totems. Jeez. His heart long gone. Ibzan leads the dredged. You must bring his end. He cannot do it alone. Alright, Captain. Is this the final mission of the Thousand Year Royals? No. Two more left. So when we come back, we'll continue with forced conversion. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and then say a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and share. It really helps me out. Thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye.